What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. I'm glad you're here because we're doing a sick tutorial today. We're doing another Simpsons wave. Wavy. Tutorial and we're doing it in After Effects today and basically it's more advanced from the last one where we'll be doing footage that's moving and we'll be rotoscoping around that footage. Now if you don't know what rotoscoping it is, it's basically uh, masking around something and then changing those mask points to fit in with keyframing so that way it kind of it's almost like green screen it's like a really 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 long way of doing green screen it's a pain in the ass but it looks awesome once you do it so let's get into it you want to have your cartoon footage i've chosen simpsons again you can use any other cartoon or anything else and now you also want to have your vhs footage and your glitch footage and anything else you want to complete the look. So in After Effects here I have uh, I have stock footage of VHS analog, I have background footage I'm going to put behind Lisa and I've gone with a Super Smash Bros melee old footage should work fine. Find your Simpsons footage which I've got and then all you need then is the tutorial. So let's take it away. So import it all to After Effects, create a new comp, go to here and drag your Simpsons footage that you want to use. I'd crop it out in any, any little section. Because because we're rotoing, you don't want a massive load, otherwise you're going to be doing it for ages. We've got a composition here, mine's already done out. And basically, I'll delete this so that you can't see, so it's all fresh. You want to put your Simpsons footage in there. So here we have it, and now, this is where it starts to get, this is the difficult part, but once you get past this bit, it's pretty easy. So basically what you want to do is take your pen tool and you want to find a section that you want to be your background almost. So you want to cut out. So here we've got the window. So you'd want to cut out this window. I'm just going to do it quickly roughly for you. Uh, you cut out the window and then join it up. And then go push M on your keyboard, which will bring up the mass layer. And then change it from add to subtract. And then obviously you'll do it much better than this and you'll have Lisa with a window cut out. And then there's another window here, so I could do that one too. Cut that out. And then you wanna go and change that mass to subtract as well. And there you have it. So you, then you have your footage and you have the masking done. Um, I've already got the masking done, so I will save to save you watching me mask. I'll load that up. So let's just delete that and I'll import my <coughs> mask footage already. So Lisa eating a pill. A tip when you're masking, you want to use as meant like use quite a few points and you want to use curves because with the curves you can kind of move sections so if I just go into here and show you I load up the mask see here so we've got all these little points and if I if you command right and right arrow you can skip to different frame and you can see how I've pulled the pulled the frame all of them together and then you see this little if there's ever ever a little bit that's not part of the window so say if you're masking out the window and Lisa there, you can see I've added a third mask and the third mask is the pill that she's eaten. So when you, you mask out the pill and then you go to your mask free and you leave that as add, you don't subtract it and then and it will do its magic. Um, so yeah, once you've got that, that's pretty much all you need to do now. And as you can see here, if we go back into the main comp, we've got Lisa. She eats the pill, she takes a pill, eats it, and then I've put a freeze frame at the end, which I mean I'll pause it, so I'm going to go to a second here. I'm going to command and right bracket, no, no, alt and right bracket, sorry, to end that scene. And then that's, that's the end of that one. So now we, once we've got that, it's the same process as the last tutorial, we're going to add in our footage. So... I'm going to duplicate this layer by command D in the D. Um, 
And then I'm going to make it fit to about five seconds long, I reckon. Only for tutorial purposes. If you're doing a music video sort of style, you'd make you'd have it loop in constantly so that it'd be like three minutes long of just loops. So we've got that. I'm going to go to the end of where it ends. And I'm going to push N on the keyboard. Which... Uh, and then click right tr right click on the timeline and click trim comp to work area that will keep things nice and tidy so now once we've got that it's same as before we're going to add in some footage in the background so let's add in our super smash bros footage push s on the keyboard to get the scale up turn that up to 200 should have it in the background maybe 400 then so we have our footage I'm going to drag it to a certain area that I like. Right, so we have our footage in the background. And look, if you mask it correctly and put the time in, it took me about an hour to mask this before the tutorial. You now have quite a quite good masking. Oh, one thing I forgot to say is when you're masking and add a feather, like I've put a five point feather because it will just uh, soften those edges. So we have our footage, everything's going to plan. She's taken her pill, and she's got this magical background of Super Smash Bros in the background. <laughs> what we want to do is, I'm going to add on top my stock footage. I'm going to scale that one up so it fits to the screen. <clears throat> 500 maybe, and 450. Yeah, 450, it's cool. So we've got that on top now, and what we want to do is go to effects, Oh no, if you push, we'll push one of these buttons down here. Oh, there we get, there we go. Okay, cool. Well, we'll leave it for soft, we'll leave it on screen. Let's take this RGB split in After Effects. So, what we want to do is go into the composition of what we've done. And as you can see, I've already done it here for time's sake. But basically what you want to do is control D on your main layer, which is the Simpsons footage. And you want another two layers on top. Once you have that, go over to your effects and presets and type in channel. And then set channel and put that on all three layers. Once you've got them on all three layers, you want to go onto the top layer. Keep the red on and turn off the, the green and blue here so you got them off. Then go to the second layer and turn off the red and green and leave blue and then as you can think it's the same sort of thing you do turn off red and blue and leave green there and then you put the two top layers you want to change the uh, transfer mode to add or additive <clears throat> and then it will create your normal footage and then as we have done before all you have to do is is move your footage and then you're starting to get a bit more Simpsons wave, wavy. <laughs> Call back to the last episode, but yeah, so it's pretty, pretty simple. Uh, there we go. All vapor wave has got to have a little bit of you know split in there, just to make it look more wavy. There you go. It's been affected in there, but as you can see, it has created some black lines over there. So you may want to go in and alter that so that it fits in not so so that it doesn't do that but um, I'm happy with it at the minute so we'll go we'll just go from there um, now once we've done that do the coloring so right click new adjustment layer put that onto the top um, and what we want to do is find so once you've got your adjustment layer you want to go in and you want to add a tint so add your tint on top and then find a purple hue get your hues in and then change down the amount of tint just give it like some kind of vapory wave feel to it and make that a little bit lighter give it a little bit washed out feel so there we go so now we've got the footage, and now what we want to do is go to effects, and what we want to do now is add noise. So add in your noise, and 
Now you want to turn that up to something like 10. Yeah, keep it at about 10. And then add in a Gaussian blur. Add that on top. And then turn that up to like 4, 5. Maybe turn it down a little bit actually. Maybe about 3. Yeah, about there. It's starting to look a little bit aesthetically pleasing. Cool. So now once we have that, I'm going to add in a turbulence, turbulent displace, and now you don't want it to be too wavy, you just want it a quite a nice, you know, I don't know, like 10. Click on the stopwatch on the evolution, bring the keyframe to the beginning and then go to the end and change the evolution to like one full turn. So click here and one full turn. And it should like have a subtle wave warp effect, which will look quite nice. And now we've done that. Oh yeah, I, I hid the stock footage. So you wanna put that back on top. Oh no, not that one. Put that back on top. Once you've got that, so now all we need to do is bring down the aesthetics so that bring down the cropping so that we've got black bars to fit with the VHS footage. What you want to do is click on this and then down here there should be a region of interest. Click that and then drag where you want your footage to be shown. So we want it straight up to the edge of the VHS bars. Click that. That's done. Go to composition and then crop comp to region of interest. So now we've cropped that. Okay, we've just done it on the wrong composition, but if we just make a new comp quickly, new composition, keep the same frame white, cool, and then add in main wave. And there we go. We've got our footage and it's doing what we want and it looks vapor wavy and aesthetically pleasing which is what you want so now to finish it off just to duplicate it a few times and keep it going and then what you want to do like we did last time is add in some slick music by blank banshee maybe teenage pregnancy and there you have it we have a vaporwave inspired simpsons wave aesthetically pleasing video it's a work of art what do you expect you know anyway i hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial but yeah if you haven't already make sure you subscribe uh, share with your friends and do leave some comments and feedback in the area below because i'd love to hear what you've got to say and if you want to show me what you've made then go ahead i'd love to see what you've uh, done with this because you don't have to just you don't have to limit yourself to Simpsons, you can do anything. This is mainly showing you how to roto uh, around something and then add in the necessary la layers to create that vapor wave aesthetic. But anyway, hope you liked the video, I'll see you in the next one.